The first thing we need to do in learning the crisscross is get a feel for the crossing action. Let's start without the rope. Assume the normal jump rope form and then cross your arms across your body reaching for outside your pockets. Which arm is on top depends on personal preference. It is very important to reach as far across your body as possible in order to achieve the rope clearance from your shoulders. A good crossing thought is to try and touch your elbows together to maximize reach. Here is an example of this movement in real time with the rope. Now we are going to practice the cross with the rope. Starting with the rope queued up behind our calves, bring the rope up and overhead. As the rope begins to come down, cross your arms, getting the rope to cross, creating a large loop wide enough to jump through. Get the bottom center of the loop to hit you in your feet. Practice this until you are consistently catching the rope under your toes. Now we can add in the jump. Once the rope passes under you and gets back overhead, you simply uncross your arms, returning to the normal jump rope form position. Catch the rope once again under your toes and practice this until consistently successful. Once this is achieved, you can add in a second cycle of this pattern, then three, four, etc., until you can do it continuously. Last but not least, try incorporating the alternate footstep with the crisscross. Comboing the alternate foot skill with the crisscross not only allows you to perform the skill at a faster speed, but because there is only one foot down as the rope is passing under you, it provides more room for error. All right, my friends, I have armed you with the knowledge, but you have to put it into action. If you practice the steps that I've covered in this video, I guarantee that you will be learning and mastering the crisscross, but it does take your effort.